Question time, and I call Senator Birmingham. Thanks, President. Uh, President, my question is to the Minister representing the Prime Minister, Senator Wong. Minister, prior to the election, Labor MP Joss Burns promised Jewish Australians' interests would be protected irrespective of who forms government. And Attorney General, now Mark Dreyfus, claimed on matters to do with Israel that Australia spoke with one voice. Yesterday, though, the Australia-Israel Labor Dialogue co-convener, Adam Sloman, said your unilateral decision to change Australia's long-standing position on Israel and the disputed territories, quote, places Australia as an outsider and not a cooperative supporter for both parties to reach a two-state solution. Meanwhile, the Zionist Federation of Australia and the Executive Council of Australian Jewry jointly described your decision as inaccurate, ahistorical and counterproductive, and that it put a peace agreement further out of reach. Minister, can you cite precisely what motivated your government to make this unilateral change at this time, other than to appease Labor's factions ahead of next week's party conference? Thank you, uh, Senator Birmingham. Minister Wong. Uh, thank you, um, President, and thank you to Senator Birmingham for the question. And what I'd say to him is, first, what I said yesterday, that we are guided in our approach uh, to uh, uh, is the Middle East. Uh, by the principle of advancing the cause of peace, uh, and we are guided by the principle of progress towards a just and enduring two-state solution. And I, I, I want, that's actually my view. And what I outlined yesterday to Senator Fawcett, and I appreciate Senator Fawcett would have different views about some of the issues, is, is the set of positions that we have uh, uh, ensured uh, the government has in international fora uh, and domestically, which are consistent with that principle. Uh, the government was also deeply concerned, and I would hope that all in this place would be, about the alarming trends we have seen in the Middle East uh, in recent times. I would uh, make the point uh, that uh, these trends are significantly reducing the prospects uh, for peace. We are seeing escalating violence, the loss of Israeli and Palestinian lives, civilian lives. In fact, the UN reports that more Israeli and Palestinian civilians have died as a result of violence in the West Bank this year than in any full year over the last decade. Uh, NGOs also report, and this is relevant, uh, that more settlement units have been advanced in the first half of this year than in any full year in the last decade. Uh, and I would have hoped that Senator Birmingham and the opposition would also share our concerns that have been expressed about changes to the judicial uh, system uh, and changes to the planning regime uh, which would enable further settlements. So I make those points. That is the context uh, and those are the overriding principles of how we approach these issues. Senator Birmingham also um, said that this is inconsistent with long-standing Australian policy. That is simply incorrect. And if you look at uh, policy as articulated by previous governments, uh, until most, most recently, part way through Thank the last you, Senator government, Wong. Time our position for is has expired. Senator Birmingham, first supplementary. Thanks, Minister. Minister, you speak using the phrase alarming trends. Do you acknowledge that there have also in recent times been positive trends, such as the normalisation of relations between Israel and many other Middle Eastern nations? How is the decision of your government not going contrary and in the opposite direction? to those trends we're seeing with many other Middle Eastern nations. Thank you, Senator Birmingham. Minister Wong. Well, well, we, we already have uh, a diplomatic relationship with Israel. We already recognise Israel, and in fact, it was an Australian Labor government and an Australian Labor uh, minister uh, who uh, moved the motion uh, that you would recall uh, in terms of the establishment of, his, uh, of Israel, if not moved, um, uh, was spoke to it. But I would make this point about uh, consistency, because consistency is important. And what, what we will not do, what we will not do, is tell one thing to Australians and another thing to the international community, which is what you did. So, on the one hand, you continued to support National uh, Security Council resolutions, which affirmed, uh, for example, UNSCR 478. Israel's annexation of East Jerusalem constituted a violation of international law. You affirmed UNS, UN Security Council Resolution 2334, which uh, went to settlements. But you told voters of Wentworth something else. So if you want to talk uh, about you, consistency, Minister, perhaps look at yourselves. Has expired. Senator Birmingham, second supplementary. Thank you, President. Minister, now that you've changed Australia's position in relation to Israel yet again during the life of your government and done so in order to appease the factions ahead of next week's national conference. 
Can you rule out any further changes to Australia's position, particularly in relation to the recognition of Palestinian statehood, regardless of whatever factional divisions, debates, shenanigans occur at next week's Labor Party conference? Uh, before I call the minister, before I call the minister, I'm going to remind both sides of the chamber to um, Senator McKenzie. I am addressing the chamber. I've asked for silence while the minister uh, continues her response. Minister Wong. Uh, I think anybody who has observed the way I've approached national conference on, on these issues over, was it, over five years would know I am very consistent on these issues, and, uh, and I will be continuing the same to assert the same position to all parts of the Labor Party that I have asserted since pre-2018. Uh, and I think people know that. Some people don't like that position. Some people do. But that's you know that is that is the view I have. But in terms of consistency, I would like to remind you, uh, Senator. Uh, that in relation to uh, the phrase occupied territories, uh, that uh, you know, in 1981, uh, Fraser's Foreign Minister Tony Street expressed the government's opposition to annexation of occupied territories, including East Jerusalem. Uh, the same position was articulated by Foreign Minister Hayden and Prime Minister Keating. Foreign Minister Downer also stated Australia supported UN resolutions on the applicability of the Geneva Convention to the occupied territories, and it goes on. We are consistent and we are principled on this Thank issue you, and on all issues. The time for answering has expired, Senator Polly.